Everything's set up. Boo doo doo. Do do do. Do do do. Getting everything set up. You do do. Do be do. Ba 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 boo body. Do do do. Getting set up. Boo boo doo. Boo boo doo. She be do. Do 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 do. Okay. Should be live. It says I'm live on Twitch. It says I'm live on YouTube. Hello, everyone. So, just a disclaimer for this evening. Oh, my voice sounds so tired. Um, I literally got my period, like, an hour before this started. <laughs> And I'm technically not supposed to have my period because I am now officially diagnosed with endometriosis. So it's pretty painful. Um, it's a lot less painful than it was before my surgery. But like, if I just suddenly zone out, it's because I'm like, oh, that hurts. Um, I'm also drinking wine. I've already had a glass of wine. This is my Friday. It's, it is my Friday. Um... Cause I've been working all week and last week. So yeah, speaking on that, I'm sorry I wasn't able to stream last weekend. I got, hi Fella Gray, thank you for the sub. I got super sick. Not like, su mm, I didn't get COVID, but like it was Friday night and I was feeling so exhausted. And I was like, it's just because I've been teaching five-year-olds to seven-year-olds for a week and like a bunch of boys who are all fighting and they're all kind of dinguses like these boys are just dumb i would literally split them up and sit in the middle of two boys and they'd be reaching across me and fighting each other so i'm like i literally just told you to stop but i'll get into that the stories of these children but the reason I got sick, and literally all of the teaching artists got sick, is because people were sending their kids to summer camp knowing they were sick. I literally had a mom drop her kid off and say, Oh, yada yada has a cold, but I just put a box of tissues in his backpack and literally walk away. And I'm like, ma'am, ma'am, we could get sick too. And we all did get sick. So yeah, last week was... Hell. A little bit of hell. Hello, Bad Wolf! So yeah, it was not my favorite age group to teach. They were a lot. I just like, I can typically... Typically I'm fine teaching that age group. Oh! I forgot I have to do this, cause, oh shit. I'll be watching the audio levels. Um, it's not my favorite age group to teach five-year-olds to seven-year-olds, like kindergarten through seventh grade. Like they can be sweet, but when you have sixty of them, it can be a lot. Yeah, this week I have third graders to sixth graders, and they are a lot. They're so. Like, I'm actually able to teach them real choreography, which is nice. Is it, like, crazy amazing choreography? Hi, Bad Wolf! Thank you for the sub! It's, like, it's kid choreography. But it's better than, like, last week. We did the two songs. Oh my gosh, Valkyrie, thank you for gifting a sub! Um, we literally- wanted people to like him. Uh, well, good enough. We did the songs Message in a Bottle and Sailing Away. And, like, I couldn't do any, like, feet choreography because I'm like. The dude just glitched through. And now he's. Oh my gosh. Um. So, like, a lot of it was, like, because it was pirate themed, this camp, this performance summer camp. But it's, like, teaching kids, like, hey, we're going to be on a stage. And what's that? Like, it's all like, we're sailing. So we're gonna salute and we're pointing off because we see the horizon and we're gonna yo ho ho because we're pirates and we're gonna make waves with our fingers and hula like it was just like 
Where this week I'm like, you're gonna jazz square. Honestly, I'm like, these kids are fighting me on this jazz square this week. I'm like, you are not leaving this summer camp without knowing what a jazz square, a Charleston, and a grapevine is. This is musical theater 101. Like, you gotta know how to do these moves. These are basic moves. <sighs> but we had so many kids that were just problematic last week. Last week was hell. The best story of it all. I, this didn't happen to me. But apparently, some parents send their five-year-olds to camp not knowing how to fully go to the bathroom. Friends, we are not allowed to go in the bathroom with these children. We send them in the bathroom. They have to... Like, if your child is not able to go one and two fully, like, do the whole bathroom process by themselves, do not send them to summer camp. We legally cannot do it. Like, we will get in trouble. Like, fired awfulness. Investigated, like... So this kid, and the theater I work in is also a library. It's also a public library. It's a really cool building. It's so cool. It's great for children. They have like a Build-A-Bear sponsored interactive zone where kids can like play, like a play. It's so cool. But, and this didn't happen to me, but one of my fellow, fellow teaching artists came in and she was like, and I was like, what happened? And she's like, this five-year-old came out after going to the bathroom and she turns around and he has no pants on his underwear is by his ankles pants on the ground and he's like i don't know if i wiped i need you to wipe for me because he went number two and she's like no 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 no!" like turns around she's like no 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 go go go, go back in there no 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 she's like i i i i I'm sure you did a great job. Just go back in there and do your best. And he's like, no, no, no. I really need you to wipe for me. And she's like, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> like, you're naked and you're in the public library. <laughs> and he's like, no, but I really need you to check. And meanwhile, her boss walks by. And then her, our boss's boss walks by. And this kid turns around. And he's like, I need you to check if I fully wiped bends over, grabs his butt cheeks, and spreads his butt for her to look. And she's like, no, 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 no. Like, turn around, like, go, go, go back in the bathroom, go back in the bathroom. So it's like, that's what we're dealing with. I had a kid throw up the night before he came to camp, and his mom still sent him to camp. And we're like, that's literally against our prop. No. We had a kid, I swear, who had COVID. I swear, he was coughing like a maniac for a couple days. And then all of a sudden, he's like, I'm not feeling good. And his eyes are all red. His face is so white. So they did a temperature check. This kid had a 104 degree fever. This is a five-year-old. I'm like, why the fuck did you send your kid to camp like this? Like, what the fuck? I get it. You have work and stuff. But are you not concerned that all of the other kids are going to get sick and so are us? Like, that is so selfish to me. No, Florian, I'm good. How are you? This week's been good, though. This week, I mean, a lot of attention problems. Like, I'm like, focus, focus, focus. It's funny. Sometimes I'm like, I'm treating these, like, eight-year-olds like they're dogs. I'm like, eyes up here. Eyes up here. Eyes up here. I'm like, that, that's literally how you would talk to a dog. But it's good. Um, there's some kids, I'm like, why are you here? And I'm like, are you having fun? They're like, no. And I'm like, why are you having fun? You know, like, just checking. They're like, I don't like performing. I'm like, you're at a performing arts camp where we're doing a show. We're putting on a musical. Why did your parents sign you up for this? Like, that'd be like if my parents signed me up to do like football camp I don't like sports I don't like being outside it's just really bizarre oh my gosh but it's just like it's fun my stress my work is my workload is higher this week than it was last week because I have to like figure out formations for 60 kids on a stage which is bonkers 
my stress level is so much lower because I'm not constantly having to be like, shut up, shut up, everyone. One, two, three, eyes on me, clap, 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 clap. Like, please, for the love of God, listen to me. This is for your safety. That's the thing. And I'm like, like what? But there's a, so the thing is like, it's not like we live in an area. Hi, Florin, thank for the sub. It's not like we live in an area that has like, you got one camp, that place that does summer camps. Every, there's like hundreds of summer camps, like every week. We are not the only option. There are so many sports camps. There are so many perform. They're like, if your kid likes chess, there are no doubtably chess camps. I will say, Illusion, I have to do the lighting board every day, and it's my first time ever operating a lighting board, and I feel really cool. And I've never done spike marks before, and I spike marked a bunch of these boxes the kids use, and I'm like, wow, I'm so cool. <laughs> It's just like, see, like, I know in my sorority, because I went to a smaller school, a lot of kids did FA, FFA because that was literally it. And it was a great program for them. But, like, I would get it in an area where there's not many options. But we live in an area where literally whatever your kid is into, they can do that camp. And they can be gone for the entire day. I just don't understand. Also, some of the... We've only encountered a couple stage parents. It's funny, though, because we have a, on, like, the registration page. It's like, any notes about your children that may be of concern? And it's like, that's where you put... Like, my kid has allergies. And they have an EpiPen. Just, like, safety things. And I have these parents are like, my kid really enjoys performing. And once they get a big part, they will put their heart and mind to it. I'm like, I don't fucking care. Their audition sucked. They were missing every single note they hit. So, it's just interesting. And, like, not to say, like, your ki if your kid's not talented at this age, they won't be able to do anything in life. I, at this age, probably wouldn't have gotten a lead. Looking back. In fact, the school shows I did, I didn't get leads. It's interesting, I got, like, main dance parts, but I didn't wasn't a dancer back then. I didn't dance. And now it's, like, what I do for my job. Because the kids who enjoy it will continue doing it and work their ass off for it if they really enjoy it. Like the girls who always got leads. And the shows I did in high school and stuff, they don't do theater anymore. Where I'm like, I work my ass off for it and yeah. So friends, since I didn't play, I was really hoping I was going to stream next week. But since I wasn't able to because I was really sick because some parents sent their kids to camp with the plague... Um, and because I got my period later in the hour before and I'm not supposed to get periods because I have endometriosis, so I'm on pain meds and I'm drinking wine because it's my Friday. We're going to mostly focus on like tiny side quests so I get reacquainted with this game because I'm like, how the hell do I play this game? Yeah. I could like... Are we going to have new verses in the Chant of Light I once was told by my um, friend in college, she's like, you would be a good lighting designer. And I was like, I don't want to do that. That's tech. I could see why lighting design would be fun, though. I have a, now I'm like, oh, that would be cool. But I would never want to take that from a lighting designer. Like, someone who's trained to be lighting designer. Sort of like how, like, I don't, you know. It's like some people know what the heck they're doing. I don't want to mute the clerics. That seems interesting. Special sit for shipments. What is that? Hold on. Good heavens. Oh, my period. So for those of you who don't get periods. What the heck? What? Periods come in a lot of shapes and sizes. And it's like not fun. Special shipment, special shipment. Oh, heck, I don't know. I don't know. 
Let's just go to the world map. I'm not going to meet with those people right now. So I should go to the war room. Just to see if there's like things we can have people do. Why is it lagging? Why are the frames dropping? Go in peace, Herald of Andraste. Okay, it's meh. It's not as smooth as it is on my screen. I will take these injury reports to research and Oh, I don't want to do that. No, no, no. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Yeah, we're just going to head off to the um, fog land, whatever it's called. Nope. I, nope. No, thank you. Oh my gosh, I literally just put two and two together, like... Red Cliff is gonna be- Oh my gosh, this is Ferelden! Oh my gosh, like I knew it was Ferelden, but I didn't realize, like, that's the lake. The Chantry would be, like, right here- Not the Chantry, um, the mad mage- The Magi ta Magic Tower, whatever, would be here. Oh my gosh. So, like- the coast and awakening would have taken place. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Yeah, let's travel. Yeah, let's go. It's like also like someone is trained specifically in their life to do a certain skill and I feel like I'd take a job from them and I don't have the expertise to do it. Hello Tinman the God! Because I've been in positions where other actors have been hired and they suck then and they suck and they're like why do they suck and they're not good I'm like well maybe because they're your friend but they're not an actor they just wanted to try and be on stage. This was much more before I got paid to do theater, but it still has kind of happened every now and then. It's like, really? Really? Oh man, it's raining. Like, it rains in games sometimes. Olivia does not like it. Olivia straight up lets me know, like, why are you gone? Which I think is funny. Like, every morning, I mean, A, every morning she is very tired. Search the area. Um, she, cause I wake up at 6 a.m., which for a lot of people, you're probably like, what, that's not that early. For me it is. As a night owl, it sucks. Um, head in, I won't be in tonight. Rupert said he had a surprise for me. He teased me by saying, Lady Peasley, which, uh, don't tell mom where I am. I'm, oh, it's a, like a kid, Never mind, Or like a teen. Why did I read it in that voice then? Who knows? Probably because I didn't realize it was like a young man. Um, okay. Um, oh my gosh, I forgot that we put him in that outfit. 10 out of 10. Um, oh, this place is interesting. Oh, there's definitely something to be discovered in this area. Okay, interesting. But she like, it, I'll wake up in the morning and she's like, why are we awake? Why are we up right now? This sucks. But then when I come home, she's like, mother, hello, I've missed you. That's really cute. I mean, if you have the skill, That is, like, it could be a personality thing, why that person got hired over. Like, why you get a hot, oh. Hired over another person. But still, I don't know, sometimes, 4 to 4.50, mm-mm, 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 fuck no, fuck no, fuck no, fuck no. I would not get up that early for a job, uh-uh. I mean, have I? 
Yes, speaking that sometimes you have to be on set for movies and TV shows that early for makeup. But <sighs> that's different. Hunters are too sick to say. Oh, so there's a plague going around. That's fun. Cool. I love that. I love that for us. And there's a lot of howling. That's always fun. I mean that with the utmost sarcasm. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a person. Hello. Oh, that's not a person, that's a corpse. You know, it'd be like that sometimes. This can't be all of them. There must be more further in. I agree. Oh, gosh, okay. Let's see what the heck this triangle is. Shabam. Okay. Oh my gosh, see, I can't. I get like 20 minutes by myself because I am Look, typically one of the first people to arrive. Plague. It must have been a terrible illness. No one's, no one's come, come to reclaim the land. But no one living at any rate. Mm -mm. Nine to ten minutes walking. See, it takes me about a half hour of a drive to get to my job. Yeah, Skyrim's corpses did all the ragdoll stuff, so I was like, ah, that's funny. Where this is like, oh, it's like part of the story, also. I mean, it could. You could read into it and be like, yeah, that's definitely part of the story. Light of the Matrostic. Are we facing that way? No, oh, that's south. That is also south. Is that the church the map's referring to? I, oh, okay. I don't want to go north just because I'm dumb. Yeah, no. If someone's late to everything, I would definitely hire someone with less skill over them. Because that's just like wasting everyone else's time and super rude. See, I can't really work from home with my job. Oh, interesting. That's really cool. I didn't realize it would do that. Oh, no. And while I do, I... I see, and I would totally understand the, like... Bring out your dead! No, that is a beautiful and amazing reference, Bad Wolf. Thank you. I'm not dead. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> Oh, he got it. It's so funny. I had a friend do that show. And they picked like a six foot six dude to be the role. That's like, I'm not dead. And just watching these like five foot ten actors try to put this dude in the cart was so funny. And I think the director knew that and did it on purpose. And I was like, ten out of ten choice. Blue vitriol. Oh, okay. I'm never going to have Madagascar. It's so funny, because I'm doing the large group choreography for Madagascar Junior, so it's like I do four numbers. So I do, um, I, um, it's showtime, which is the opening number. I like to move it, move it, which is like the iconic number everyone knows. And then together forever, which is the closing number. And then the bow number, which is I like to move it, move it reprise, which... I just use kind of the same choreography from I like to move it, move it, number one. So I don't have to, like, it's basically like doing three numbers. 
But everyone was like, oh, you're going to be so tired if I like to move it, move it by the end of this song. Like, I still like the song I like to move it, move it. I think it's fun. I think our King Julian kills it. One of our King Julians, because we have four King Ju We have like three or four King Julians. We do it. It's weird how we do our scripts to give like as many kids an opportunity. But it works, but it's also weird. But the song I am so sick of already is our freaking opening number. It's showtime. I just totally did a plosive in the mic. It's fine. There's some things I'm like, oh, that's fun. Like the Marty sect. Oh, that's another dead body. Careful. Disturbing the water draws them out. Yeah, why? Oh, why am I in the. Oh, no, that's a like high level enemy. Why are we fighting the high level enemy? Oh, I don't know if we're fine. I don't know if we're high level enough for this. I do not know. Okay, we did it. We're good. We're good. What level am I again? What level am I? Is this gonna be? I'm level five. And that's supposedly level twelve mage. Why am I fighting them? Why am I trying to fight them? But yeah, our opening number eight—it's five minutes, long, which is like. And there's multiple parts where it's like, and now it's the Marty section, because it's I'm doing Madagascar Jr. So if you know the characters, you know. And like now it's the Alex section. Now it's the Gloria section. Now it's the Penguin section. Now it's the Zuki. I'm like, Ugh! so I just record me doing the dance six times to like ha have videos for the kids to practice to, because it's just that, yeah. Hi, thank you for the follow. Is that a beacon of some sort? But. Let me just say, I will say, how did I die? I'm so confused, it's fine. Energize. I don't know if I'm high enough level to be doing this area. This time we'll do our best. Someone help. Oh, hi! Lesser terror. I mean, that was pretty terrifying. I don't know about you, but... Hi. Today. And I think like the other area, the Red Cliff area, the Hinterlands area, I done like all the tiny quests. I think, like maybe not, but the beacons seem to draw out the undead. We could use them to fight on dry land. Keep an eye out for more. Then. Oh no. Sure, I went there, got my collective butts killed. Came back. So maybe I don't know. No nervous. <laughs> like, oh gosh, maybe I should, like, go back. Hang on. Oh, oh no, we got this thing going on. I got cramps. Um, as long as it doesn't spoil the game, you can offer advice. Like, if you're gonna tell me what to do, don't say that. Like, let me fail. I've also so We're in the other fight. What, what am I doing? It's fine. 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 Paradise. That's not even a song I choreographed. Why is that so funny? Paradise. Paradise. Living in paradise. Who's the cat? Hungry cat. Who's that? Hungry cat. <laughs> So 
Hospital's been raining. <laughs> yeah. That isn't technically. Why can't I spend that? What the heck? Hello? Oh, because I already have that unlocked. Uh. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, it's about the war table. Well, the war table, it's like if I go there, it starts a war council, and I really don't want to do that, because I feel like that's going to trigger quest. And I don't know if I'm ready or in the right mind for that. Oh, I have a heating pad on. It's, I feel like it's not doing anything. But my other heating pad melted. I love that this chat loves Monty Python. What if I just like... Is it true that the entire dwarven economy relies upon lyrium? <laughs> Uh, mostly. We've got the nub market cornered as well. <laughs> and the dwarves of Orzama have never studied Lyrium? I'm sorry, they have, they why? We haven't shared anything up here. Why? It is the source of all magic. Save that which mages bring themselves. Dwarves alone have the ability to mine. Yo, what are those? I wondered if they had sought to learn more. Uh, the folks back in Orzama don't care much about anything but tradition. <laughs> I just love when I burned the boxes all of a sudden, Solus is like, Y'all know about some lyrium? Thank you, cards. Okay, why is it kind of... Okay, it's fine. It just, I don't know. Y'all let me know if it's frame skipping a lot. Take. Something about a cipher, something about a demon, okay. Oh, that was cool. I like that. good yeah Varric's like no 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 I don't know anything about lyrium my brother and I did not find a thing with lyrium nope that nope mm -mm. It's really interesting too though teaching like from kindergarten now to sixth grade because we can start seeing the age where like I mean oh my gosh our kindergartners through second graders could not stop touching each other 
That sounds really bad, but it's not bad. Like everyone was holding hands and like climbing all over each other and like cuddling and like, like during nap time they'd snuggle up and it was like, boy, girl, boy, boy, girl, girl, literally did not matter. But then fourth, fifth grade, I'd say really is when it, you start seeing like, just the society infringement of like, hey, physical touch is bad, especially boy and girl, because one of our choreographers was like, you're going to hold hands, and they were like, no! I think this is as close as you can get, Bolts. Um, I kind of like being a little more zoomed out. Normally, I wouldn't be. Normally, I'm like a first-person pr player, but with this map, it's nice to... Oh man, this map's big. I kind of just want to go. Ooh, let's go actually go get this. Um, it's always good to get a map. I mean, camp. What the heck am I saying? Of course. I mean, like, okay. I am prioritizing me and my mental health, and like, I was really sick, so like, yeah, I really couldn't stream. But I really love hanging with y'all, and I really do love playing this game, so I was like... Even though it's my Friday, I really want to play this, like... Because this is what I would want to do on a Friday. I mean, I'd probably... If, like, I didn't stream, and I had discovered the amazingness that is this game, end up playing Stardew Valley, because that's kind of what I'm doing when I'm, like, brain dead and just like... Blah. But... I'm really happy that I have y'all and that we're all sharing this adventure. I was telling my friends, I was like, I don't think I'd like this game as much if I wasn't streaming it, to be honest. Not that it's in a like lesser of a game. It's just like I feel like we're all on this journey together and it just makes it more special. So. Also, on Tumblr, because I've reblogged on my Tumblr and I've looked up a lot of fan art for Dragon Age 2 and stuff. Hi, thank you for the follow! So a lot of people, like, now Tumblr's recommending, like, a lot of fan art and stuff for this game and such. And it was interesting, because it was like, it's interesting in Dragon Age Origins how they mention this one prison for mages that's, like, higher than the circle. That's, like, super locked down Templar. And I was like, Oh my gosh, I had completely forgotten about that. And that how no other story they mention it, no other origin backstory, nor have they mentioned it yet in the game. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that seems kind of important. Oh, we got a dead body. Are there going to be werewolves in this game too? The words not death root have been underlined three times. There's this like, spindle weed. This would make a good place to camp. Yes, I guess it would. Boys are easily spurred. See, that's the thing. Here's the interesting thing. There are no biological signs that boys and girls until puberty are different. Like, except physically. Hormonally, they are the same. Chemistry-wise, they're the same. And from my experience now as a teacher for two weeks, I'm so experienced, ha huh? Girls are disciplined more than boys because the whole boys will be boys notion. So girls behave a little better. Where guys, we're boy, young boys, the whole fighting notion stuff is often excused. And I'm like, Y'all, do not... If your freaking son is punching people because they didn't get their way, correct that behavior. Boys will not be boys. It is a trained thing. It is an allowed behavior. <sighs> it is very different than Mass Effect, I will say. But the story is as rich as Mass Effect. It's a little harder to follow, I will say. But because I'm a huge fantasy fan, 
excuse me, fantasy fan. And I really do love dragons. I think they're so cool. They're probably my favorite mythological character by far. Yeah. Ooh, that's really good. Let's equip that. Heck yeah. Can I refill my potions? Okay, wait. Drake stone stone on it. No, 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 no. Yeah, I guess back. We have them. So we're still, I don't know how to get some stuff. Yeah, let's rest. Why not? Huh, interesting. I didn't get the new rock leader. Maybe if I try. Hold on, I'm just experimenting for fun. Lyrian potion. Bolts man baby but see the thing is that is a societal thing there are places like there are tribes in Africa where women are their protectors it is a societal thing a sociology thing But there's no biological evidence for that. That's the thing. And it's all sociologically. And like... <sighs> Maybe we should just like punish people equally and not allow fucking hitting each other. Nothing to report, sir. Alright. Alright, we're gonna try and do this. Let me tell you, Faye, oh my gosh, I studied so much of Celtic, Celtic, whatever, and English in Ireland and Scotland, Faye lore, A, because as a for a while I thought maybe I'll be your author and stuff I do love writing I do love creating worlds and stuff but I also just love lore in Faye no sign of and the alarm. whole idea of like me. the changing lore and how that might have just been I Down Syndrome but their understanding the of Down Syndrome which is so interesting okay, hold on. I probably should have listened to that it's fine um it fascinates the crap out of me I wonder if I'm gonna do anything with the disease tissue, or if it's like gonna be like, nah, you just got a bunch of disease tissue. Oh right, because we're about to go to the thing you do. Wine, poetry, and salt. Ten out of ten. Hope I don't die. Hi. So, you're Herald of Andraste. My kin want you dead, Lowlander, but it's not my job. No fears from me. Why aren't you attacking? I thought the Avar wanted to fight me. Our chieftain's son wants to fight you. I'm called him when the dead pile up. Rights to the gods, mending for the bleeding, a dagger for the dying. That's what I do. Now don't pick Watch the water. Yes, but that is because sociologically we have taught that. It is not natural. And because of this sociological idea that boys are more prone to violence, we excuse a lot of violent behavior. And I'm saying we should not allow that.
Bolts, if you're gonna keep doing... <sighs> if you're gonna keep doing this misogynistic bullshit... That is not sociologically... And biologically... Supported, like... I don't have fucking time for that. It's just not fucking true. And it actually does a disservice to gender. Because you're actually doing a disservice to your gender. Because I don't think you're realizing it, but you're excusing male violence by saying that. And saying that, oh, you know, men just can't control themselves. They're just naturally going to be more violent. Which is like... See, and that's not cool either, Cardos. Like, that's just not fucking cool either. Because there have been so many studies that hitting your children shows that you then ingrain in your brain when someone I love is mad at me, it is okay if they are violent with me. Because I did something wrong. When it is never okay for someone to be violent with you. And as someone who, and I'm, this is the wine talking and being honest, who was spanked as a child with a wooden spoon, and then who was beat as a older person. And I know it's not your fault, but I'm not saying it was okay what your parents are doing. Like that, that's, it came a little across like, well, I was beaten out by like my parents. So like, that's okay to do like, and that's not okay. Like, I'm not saying you had a choice no matter. I'm just saying it's not okay what your parents did. Um, but it just like that idea of like, well, men are just more violent. It makes you like, then why should like, if you're going to take that idea, then why should we take any intellectual thing men take seriously? Because it's like, you're, which I'm not saying I'm not agreeing with men can be so smart. Like everyone can be so smart. Fuck it. Everyone. Fuck gender. You are doing a disservice to men. Like, isn't our goal as humans to rise and be better and better ourselves and to achieve greatness in intellectuality and relationships and community that is true that is true the unibomber was a smart guy who was res but the i it well it's not so this it's the logical part of the brain that typically it's shown that the front part the which takes critical thinking and stuff when it gets more damaged it's like Typically, people are more rash and more violent with their ideas um, and their mentality. And there is an uptake in domestic violence. So that's the correlation between violence and intellectuality I'm making. It just does a disservice. And it excuses away behavior. And that's never good. So yeah, I like we all can strive for better. And yeah. Anywho. I'm just gonna fucking shut you up, Bolts. I'm not putting up with this bullshit right now. Like, I'm just... You're ruining the... I'm just how do I do this?
Amen. I don't think people realize when it's like, we're closer to animals and stuff, so then why, why is rape bad? Why is beating bad? Why is all, why is murder bad? My instincts told me to do so. And I'm an animal. And so I should follow my instincts. But we as a society say that's bad. So clearly, biologically are close to animals. But something makes us different. Now, I'm a religious person. I think it's because God called us. But like, it could be any worldview you have. There is something clearly we can extract that calls us to be different than to rely on our pure instinct. To have a rational thought. Just putting that out there. That's what I'm saying, Krogs. Like, biologically, we can say there's similarities. But yeah, there is. Th we're trying not to be because we don't. But there's the rationality to us that is different. You guys get. You got illusion and Krogs. You are getting what I'm saying. Krogs, yeah. What's my favorite dragon? I typically like the Eastern dragons. Like, um. I typically like more European style dragons. While I respect Asian dragons, especially like Japanese lore dragons, like. I don't know. I like the typical design of like the four wing, the wing, two wings with four legs, like hoarding something in a cave design. Like, I just like that. It's the, you know, I don't want to say it's the classic because to like Eastern, it's not the classic. I need to heal. I'm going to be dead otherwise. Eight, eight, I'm, I'm nine. Oh my god. The gaps in the air. Hell yeah, it's I can. What the herald was sent here to do. Maybe you do have a god's favor. Thank I. I'm so nervous about House of Dragon, y'all. You don't realize I'm literally gonna wait till my friend who's obsessed with um, Game of Thrones watches it, and I'm gonna text her and be like, "Should I watch it?" Because y'all, the last season of Games of Th Game of Thrones. Okay, this is really dark. I'm about to say, but. I almost video gamed myself in college. You can take that. And they made me have a list of why I will not video game myself. Things I was looking forward to in life. Because my friends reported it. Thank goodness they did. And I put the Game of Thrones finale. <laughs> And literally after it ended, I sat there and I started crying. And I said, I didn't video game myself for this. Which is hilarious to look up on in a dark humor sort of way. But yeah, I'm really nervous about that. Matt Smith is it. Matt Smith is in it. And I do enjoy his work, so. The other of our kidnapped Holy cow, I have some cramps. Okay. Are they alright? A few were injured in the skirmish, but they were alive. Last I saw them. Someone's trained them well. They killed more of us than I thought they would. Okay, goodbye. Hold on, I'm gonna read this. My pad. Give me a second. Farewell, then. Watch the water. I think Gentry got in a boat and he's chasing Arya. That's the only hope I have. Oh, fuck. Oh my gosh, I'm covered in sweat. I have a roll of toilet paper here. Oh gosh, okay, I have, a... I have burn marks already. That's not good. Uh... 
so for those of you who are going to judge me because I'm on pain medication and I'm not having wine, I've told my gynecologists, all three I've seen, and they're like, understandable. Because my reasoning when I told them, I was like, I'm going to be real, y'all, when I've studied Victorian medicine because I'm a fucking nerd and Civil War medicine because I had to do a whole paper on that, like a huge ass paper and report. I was like, what they would do for surgery and amputations was they'd get them so drunk that the pain was tolerable. And they're like, yeah, it does decrease your nerve sensitivity and stuff. So the fact that you're using that to like the fact that a your pain meds aren't covering it insane but like they're like i would do the same in your shoes and i'm like okay is it like am i doing it every month no it's about a twice a year thing but you're seeing it a little bit today oh my gosh okay That might be a poop. I'm not going to lie. TMI. But y'all should learn about menstruation. Um, Sometimes it causes your intestines and colon to get weird too. So you deal like, okay, you know the memes of like, I'm on my toilet fighting for my life. Sometimes, actually all the time with periods, that happens too. It, like, they're simultaneous. It fucking sucks. But this is going to sound TMI. I don't fucking care. Honestly, at this point, it's your body. People should be aware of the realities of each other's body. I'm a huge advocate of that. But you know when, like, a poop is rounding the corner of your colon and it feels like stabbing pain? Sometimes period pain hurts like that. Sometimes period pain is a dull ache. And that's a different kind of pain. I don't know how to describe that, but that's also fucking shit. And sometimes it's both. Because sometimes you do have the poop rounding the corner of the colon. And you have cramps. It's just a fucking hot mess. But mine are especially bad. Especially bad. Because I have endometriosis. And fun fact. This is not the worst my endometriosis has ever been. I, before my surgery, would pass out. I would throw up. It was great. Um, but some women say that giving birth in their, like, before the actual, like, push, lady, push, <laughs> part was easier than having a period. Ah. <sighs> oh, yeah. I'm reading a book right now called The Girl in His Shadow, and it's about Victorian medicine. I'm fucking loving it so much. If you were reading it, I'm halfway through. And I swear, Nora and Dr. Gibson are gonna be a couple. I swear so much. <sighs> I literally was driving to work and something happened and I was like, no! I was like reacting. No one else was there, but I get very intense. This is why I'm only doing small quests because I'm kind of out of it. It's fine. I can talk when I'm out of it. <laughs> I kind of just want to run over here. That was kind of cool. The frog noise. I don't know if y'all heard that. Also, is the audio okay level-wise? I don't know. I haven't been looking. <laughs> Let's just run over here. Um, we set up two camps that I saw. I'm just gonna kind of run to this rift. Oh, quite a smell. These people never had a chance. He sounded like that was a good thing, and I wonder if that's like the actor wasn't given the context of that line. Because I have recorded video games, not any good video games, but I've auditioned for a couple of video games and been called back for, like, some good video games. 
Um, not any AAA games. Thank you for the sub on YouTube. Um, and it gotten zero context. And so I'm like, I think this is what the line is addressing. But I also have no idea. Because they don't like me sometimes. Audio is 100% like 100% good. Friday dad jokes. Hell yeah! Your abilities are remarkable, Seek. Y'all, we had a talent show for the kids to today, and this kid got on stage. He's one of our King Julians. I can love this kid. He cracks me up. I am an apostate after all. And they never caught up with you even once. I am a very careful apostate. And he just did a bunch of dad jokes. It was amazing. Oh, I'm down, I guess. Oops. Hey, wake up. Like, he's like, I need to volunteer. And everyone raised their hand. And so this girl came on stage. She's like, All right, I don't need you anymore. You can sit down. It was just like, like what the heck? That's, it was just so weird, but funny. And then he said something else, and it was so funny. Like, we also have two brothers who are cast as our Melmans. And they just make the most brilliant acting choices. And I'm like, and I told their mom at Carpool, I was like, your kids make amazing acting choices. They're so funny. She's like, yeah. I was like, and I wanted to be like, no, you don't understand. That is a gift. I never compliment children, especially acting children, because they think they're funny and they're never funny. But your kids are actually so genius at, oh my gosh. Like, so we have this song because it's Madagascar Jr. And I don't know if you've seen the movie Madagascar. Okay, I have some cramps. I'm going to talk through it. It's fine. But the animals go to Grand Central Station because they're hunting Marty. They're not hunt their friends Marty and Marty's trying to get to Kentucky at that point. And they're like, Marty, you can't leave the zoo. And so, of course, animal control comes and they dart all the animals because they're wild animals in Grand Central Station. Hold on. Okay, we're good. And so, Of course they get darted by animal control. So we have a song that's like them being high off their asses. Because they're all darted. And they're like... And it, the choreography is hilarious. But they all end the song laying down. And every kid's like laying down. And the Melman in that scene is laying down with his like head cronked to the side. And his butt sticking straight up in the air. He's like, well, we'd get butt, like, we'd get darted in our butt cheeks. And I'm like, you're so right. That is hilarious. Like, first off, it's hilarious that your butt's just sticking there. Like, the 10 out of 10 comedy. But his brother does the same thing. What does Connecticut have? Lyme disease. Well, it's just Marty. He's like, Marty's like, oh, they have grass there. That's amazing. I also just love our Marty's. I just, I'm really happy with our cast. Some of these kids are just brilliant actors, and I'm like, they're so good. The main thing they all need to work on is their dancing. Well, that's the difference. Like, I didn't start dancing until I was 14, 13, 14, but they should start earlier. Potion, thank you, thank you for using a potion. These are like slender men, but animal wise. Ow! 
I look when I was 16 I taught I already and there was a kid she was only two years younger than me and then we did shows together so it's like not really like I taught her but like I was like one of the junior counselor kind of people she's already famous she's been on Broadway she's in an HBO show she has like two singles released Like, I'm sure if I went up to New York and I was like, hey, she'd be like, oh my god, hey. Like, it wouldn't be like... But, like, I'm definitely, like, it... I don't think that... Hmm, I don't know. It depends. It depends on how well I have a connection with these kids. Like, a couple of my teachers, I would absolutely... I don't think I'd give them, a, like, a shout-out or anything because, like, did they teach me much? No. But a couple of my teachers, I absolutely would. Like, my voice teacher growing up... Oh my gosh, because she was not just my voice teacher. She was my teacher that, like, I would vent to when I, like, wasn't cast as a lead. And, like, that I worked so hard and she'd be my shoulder to cry on. Like, that kind of. I think those teachers are the ones that, like, yeah, they, yes, they deserve a shout out. But, yeah, no, I've had, like, no, wait, I've had two kids who were, like, on Broadway. Which is crazy to think about. Yes, David. Sh no, David Schwimmer. I thought was the voice of Melman, cause um, Chris Rock was the voice of Marty. Cause also Melman the draft is, oh my gosh, everyone was like Melman sucks. Melman sucks. Everyone sings the Melman solo in the opening number, and I think it's because my choreography is so funny there. But it could also be because it's just a really funny solo. I'm not gonna lie. It's kind of hilarious. I haven't seen Band of Brothers. No, you're so good. Because it honestly just doesn't look like my kind of show. But, like, that's not to say it's a bad show. It just... I only have so much time, so... I had to call in... Like, I had to explain to these kids, like, what's a hypochondriac? And I was like, hypochondriac is someone that thinks they're constantly sick. So they might see a freckle on themselves and think they've gotten the plague. And they're like, oh. And this one girl's like, oh. And Melman has a lot of spots. So he must think he's sick all the time. I was like, that is exactly right. And I was like, that's actually really smart of them to put that together. But also, how do you explain to a child what a hypochondriac is? <sighs> like, sometimes I'm like, I have no idea what to say. Like, we had this one kid. I don't know what counselor started it, but we have plants in this library. Library. They use the bathrooms in the library, and then they practice on the theater spaces, in the theater spaces and classrooms, because it's a joint building. And there are plants in the library. And I don't know what counselor started the rumor that the plants eat children that touch them. Because they have a bunch of signs that say don't touch. And I'm like, I'm not going to contradict a counselor. Even though, like, that's weird. I'm shocked that the kids believe them, but they're five-year-olds because this is my first camp. And so I said, yes. Yes, the plants eat kids. And I was like, I saw it happen. I was like, I mean, I didn't see it happen, but it happened when I was a kid your age. A kid tried to sleep over in the library and we're not allowed to be here at night. And so he touched all the plants. He wrapped himself up in the plants like a blanket and the plants ate them. And I was like, why am I laughing like this? Oh my gosh, I thought I'd be able to reason with children. Apparently that's not a thing. And this one kid said, when he died, did he see God? And I was like, oh gosh. And I was like, that's a good question to ask your parent or guardian. It's like, I'm not gonna infringe my beliefs on these kids. Like, that's. Ooh. So, I hope I said the right thing. Literally, Little Shop of Horrors. I really want their. Is there a kids' version? Because we get to put input. Okay. MTI Junior. Broadway Junior Show Finder. We get to have input for the kids they do, for the shows they do. And I really want to know if there's a Little Shop kid. Because I think that would be adorable. We don't do like Frozen and stuff typically because 
the amount of meltdowns we'd have if what someone wasn't Elsa. Please be, please be little shop. There's not a little shop of horrors, Junior. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? They have a Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer Junior musical, which I didn't realize that was even a musical. Well, I okay, I did. I knew there was a non equity national tour, but I know there was a junior version. But are you kidding me? Little Shop of Horrors Jr. would be adorable. Can you imagine a tiny little Mr. Mushnick? I would die laughing, but like out of adorableness. There's a Guys and Dolls Jr. That show's kind of inappropriate at points. I'm not going to lie. So, look, I will fight MTI Jr. for a Little Shop of Horrors Jr. show. When I was in Spring Awakening my third time, because I've done that show three times, because apparently that's my type, um, we joked about, because years ago, like 10 years ago, a school did Rent. But they made it a, like basically a junior version. So no one was dying of AIDS and HIV. They were all dying of the common cold. And it was so dumb, this show. Like they changed Angel and um, Collins to being roommates and best friends. I was like, what even is the point of this show at this point? It was so dumb. So we were joking like what Spring Awakening would be since the common cold was like the thing with the rent. And we're like learning disabilities <laughs> so we're like <laughs> Melchior Gabor had to go to a learning disability school and Morch Stiefel didn't commit video game he didn't video game himself he had to move states because his family was his dad got a new job it was so we were just like all right this is what this is about now it was so dumb it was so dumb but it was so funny to us um, honestly, I know they did 101 Dalmatians next, last year. Lion King Jr. would be a really good show. High School Musical is not relevant enough for the kids. They're doing Annie, the main stage show this year, so. I really want to do the Aristocat Kids for their week-long performance camps. I think that'd be so adorable. Like, oh. I really want to do Honk Jr. I think I think that is such an underrated show, but that's just me. Um, there did Matilda Jr. this year, which I'm like, okay. Newsies Jr. I think would be a really good. For, I think it'd be a really good thing for us to do. I did once on this island Jr. when I was a student with this theater company that I'm working for, and I'm sorry, but that show should be avoided at all costs unless you have an all black cast yeah my high school history was basically doing every single show i should not have done as a white female and by that i mean once on this island jr and aida we almost did hairspray too <sighs> and Aida, we did some racist ass shit. And the same director that did that had us do West Side Story. I wasn't a part of it. And had all the little white girls get spray tans and wear black wigs. And that's racist as fuck. <sighs> and I don't mind calling her out like that because she's not the best person. She lied to me about a girl having anorexia. And said that this woman, this girl couldn't do dance anymore and was going to be cut from all the dance numbers because of this anorexia. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's horrible. Like, of course, of course she could have my solo song that you've practiced, you've, that you've promised to me for four months now. And then I went to ballet the next day and I was like, hey, what are you doing here, girl that supposedly have anorexia? And she's like, what do you mean? And I said, um, our teacher told me that you're not going to be taking dance anymore. And she's like, uh, no. So that happened. And then I got cast as Elle Woods 
in our Legally Blonde section and I had anxiety attacks before every single performance because, and this woman knew that I was not in Elle Woods and she's like, it sounds not that great. And I was like, I know, I know. It was so awful. And that's why some teachers are very damaging to mental health. And I'm so careful now as a teacher. I'm like, I cannot have a mental health breakdown on my... We did have one kid cry. Because I think, honestly, I think some of our youngest kids are way too young to do our performance camps. But I s literally stopped everything I did. And I was like, hey, and I calmed. And one of the counselors came, came and talked to him. And then later we talked to him and I was like, hey, buddy. I'm not going to say their name. Um, and I said, and they were like, what's the, like, cause I just, sometimes I do Q and A with the kids and they're like, what's the shortest amount of rehearsal time you've had with kids? <gasps> Hi, Jimmy. Everyone go follow Jimmy. He's awesome. And I said, I had 24 hours to learn a show once for a tour. And I found out when I arrived 12 hours later, after I got the script for that 24 hours, I was doing sound cues as well. And that the sound thing would be in my pocket. And this kid was like, what? And I was like, buddy, I'm not going to say their name. I cried. Just like you, are, you cried earlier today. I cried a lot. I really cried. I bawled. And he was like, you cried too because of stress. And I was like, yeah, I did. And you could just like see him being like, I'm not alone. Oh my gosh. And I was like, Charlie, do you think I expect you to be perfect? He's like. Well, I just want to be perfect. And I was like, Charlie, I don't expect you to be... Oh, I said this kid's name. Fuck. Oh, well, well, if his mom finds it, like, or his dad, like, now you know what it's like at camp. I was like, I don't expect you to be perfect. I'm throwing a lot of information at you in three days. And it's a lot. It'd be a lot for me. But I just want you to know it so that when you're go home and practice you can know what you're practicing and he was like oh I was like yeah I was like yeah it's okay it's okay but he's also a cute kid he's like a 40 year old in a 10 year old's body and it's the funniest thing ever he says some of the funniest things and I have to stop myself from laughing because he doesn't understand how funny he is and I'm like you do not realize that you are actually an old man in a tiny child's body there's a monster. Hello, monster. Oh, there's a monster there too. Honestly, I doubt the time to go find this stream. I keep my work life and my stream life very separate because... Oh, I died! Well, shoot. That's not good. Let's try to revive me. Especially since I'm under the water, you know? I don't, I mean, like, honestly, I don't think it has a huge impact on my character. This is not like I'm inhaling water at that point, because I'm unconscious, but like... You know. Kill me. Kill me now. Thank you. Why is it off? I hate the auto off. They're like, you can only use it for 20 minutes. I'm like, no. Always have it on. 
We're not gonna reach that, it's fine. Do this. Let's go to the world map and head back to the something. We'll just go to the council room. I don't care at this point that I'm a little t I'm almost, I'm pretty I'm not pretty drunk. I'm like slightly drunk at this point, I'm not gonna lie. I feel my uterus throbbing. That sounds so- I couldn't have used the word pulsing. I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna like grab a 10 month project. Holy cannoli. Uh, sorry. Okay. Why is it? Olivia has been laying on my heating pad. There's a bunch of cat hair. Ah! Okay, it's fine. Yeah, you right. You right, Jimmy. Oh, ow. Fuck. Sorry. Oh, fuck. I was like, oh, well, let me press on my uterus. Maybe that'll help. No, it did not. No, it did not. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Turn off. <sighs> okay. Welcome to the chill stream. I'm like super slouched. And if anyone does the posture check, I will not posture check. Good day. No, I have my heating pad. It just auto turned off because it hates me. I'm sorry, but look at that person walk. Ooh, ooh, look at them hips. <laughs> Colin, what's up? I will keep the peace while you and the others appeal to the Chantry in Val Royale. <laughs> Don't ready yourself for the blame. You will be rightly assigned. I guess. Yeah, I've been using one this entire stream, along with wine. Judge me hard. And payments. Find me well within your grace. Touch me with I will fire take these and I will to research a minute. Tell me I have sung to your approval. Hi, thank you for the super chat, Red Mage. Thank you so much. No, she does come with fries. Those fries. Amen. I don't know what that means, but amen. I like shakes and fries. Oh, nice. We can do some stuff. Let's do stuff. Ooh, ooh, ready to Chancellor record? Chancellor Aldrich came to speak with me. Oh, thank Could you. Could you try not to antagonize him? Thank if you. If I offend the man so easily, perhaps he should try leaving me alone. Y'all, be quiet. So what's this? The Terran of Hyver wishes to convey our deepest sympathies. Oh, that sounds... Ooh, that sounds really important too. Oh, the Black Emporium! Oh, we know the Black Emporium! Yeah, we know the Black Emporium, that's good. Let's go lesbians! Oh yeah, let's go to the Black Emporium! Hey, that can be done while we're like this. I'm curious what it's like versus Dragon Age 2, because we didn't really go during Dragon Age 2. 
Okay, I'm gonna recline. I forgot I can recline. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. This is a comfy ass stream. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry. To my friends with girlfriends, or if you're a lady fellow, just like watch this and be like, is this what it's like on a period? And they'll probably say, yeah. <laughs> Let me turn up the lighting because I'm pretty dark right now. Uh. I am literally all the period thoughts unfiltered and released. Because I don't give a fuck. Oh my gosh, I haven't had a frosty from Wendy's in forever. I'm going to text my mom right now and ask if she's hungry. I had two burritos for dinner, but I'm still. That's the name. Handle the merchandise with care. All good, Valkyrie. Have a good night. Yo, I don't think I realized last time there's like a dude reading in a chair, but he's dead. Yo, 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 I found myself stealing this. Is it? Wait, wait, no, it said Kirkwall's owner! You Shit. may pet the tiny bear, but be gentle! A Magista miniaturized him specially at great cost. I'm guessing this is to change your appearance. He answers to Chauncey. Oh, well, yeah, I'm gonna exit out. Nope, 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 nope. You went with that! Bitch, yes I did. Yeah, we can't afford anything. Wow, we are poor. I did not realize how poor we are. But also, I remember everything's really expensive here, if I remember correctly. I want to pet the miniature bear. Where's the miniature bear? If you want something bad, Scott Piper. Honestly, that's such an underrated movie. My brother has all the comics of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I am to this day unsatisfied with the fact that we can't actually- So we can't pet the tiny bear? Handle the merchandise with care. Then what's the point of that voiceover line? Gosh darn. The other lesbians. I still think it's so funny people being like, You look like a lesbian. I'm like, what does that even mean? Oh my gosh, so my comfort show, and some of y'all may be like, that's weird, but I don't care, is Secrets of the Zoo. And it's a show on Disney Plus, and it covers a bunch of different zoos. I really like OG Secrets of the Zoo, but I finished all the episodes where basically it talks about like the vet part of the ho um, of zoos and how they take care of the animals and stuff. And it's just really cool. But there was an episode for the Tampa? zoo I believe 
and they had panda bears. Oh no, no, no. I was my mom was watching Discovery Health and she's like, Morgan, there's a zoo a zoo show on and they had pandas and so I ran downstairs and watched it. And I don't think Make I've ever beauty. seen like full adult pandas before. Come to me, child, and I shall embrace you. Because I was like, that does not look like a like it'd be as if you saw a Pokemon that was real. I was like, that just doesn't look real. It was so weird. I was like, someone painted a bear. Someone painted a polar bear. That's not a real bear. It was so weird because I've only ever seen like baby panda bears. It was so weird. It was at that point I quit the game. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> Me. I was kidding. I still really hope we get a dog in this game because I want to name them Denny's. Someone spoil it in the chat. Like, feel free. 10 out of 10 spoil in the chat if we get a dog in this game. Let's do some My stuff scouts in LA. still comb the hills for clues about the explosion. I'll take what I can find. Oh, I don't know if we want to do that then. Maybe, perhaps you're not as weak. Juliana, I trust you. Okay, I accept that report. I say, let's, yeah. Okay, I don't know, maybe. I guess we can't fast travel there until we do that thing. But that, honestly, Scout scares me. You, you just keep doing that, honestly. No comment, lol. Ah! Right. Yeah, I think that's a good thing for you to do. This is already. See, that's a lot to read. Honestly, I'm not ready for that mentally. What's this? Letter from Christmas. deal with assassins with that. I really want her to go, but I guess we can't do that yet. I guess recommended levels four to seven. It's really good to know that it says like recommended level. Oh, okay. They would not see our message conveyed and during the upper mount that reflects. <gasps> oh, we get another mount! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! We get another mount! We get another mount! Hold up! Hold up! We gotta go see the other mount! Oh my gosh, we gotta go see the other mount! Oh lord, we gotta see the new mount! We gotta see the new mount! Acquired red heart! Oh my gosh! To me, child, and I shall we gotta see what this new mount is! <sighs> This is so important. Oh my gosh. Right now, we just need to be careful not to do anything wrong. Oh my gosh, my cramps. It's fine, it's fine. I just hope we get a dog. All men are the work of our maker's hands. From the lowest slaves to the highest kings. Mount time, mount time, mount time. Come on, mount, mount, mount. So it's not any of that. Hurts. Yo, we get a deer. Oh my gosh. Travel safe. Oh my gosh. 
It's everything and everything I'd ever want. Oh my gosh, it's like a reindeer mixed with a regular deer with a Akabi. Oh my gosh, it's so fucking cute. <gasps> That's like my dream mount if I ever like, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Look at its red little oh my gosh. Look at it. It's so fucking cute. Like I love deer so I love reindeer so much. And I think it's because they're tied to Christmas. But I just love deer. I think they're so majestical. <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay. I like y'all. I know I'm like a little drunk. But even if I wasn't, I would love this. Because, oh my gosh, it's got a little stripe down its front. I love deer so much. They're my favorite animal. I think they're so majestic. I don't know what about them is. I think because I had like a magical experience with a deer once, like with a buck. And it was like a six point buck. Where we like bowed to each other several times. It was really weird. No one believes me that it happened when I told my spring away getting cast. But straight up did happen. And that is like a sign of respect among deer. And it, like we bowed to each other three times. It was crazy. But. I'm just saying. It's not hot enough. My heating pad is not hot enough. Oh my gosh. I wish I could summon. Stay safe out there. I wish I could summon my mount. Just so I could see it and ride it. I wish I could ride a deer. People ride reindeers and it's so cool. I like saw a thing in Finland on Airbnb. It was an experience thing. I don't know if it's like really common to rain. Probably not common to ride reindeer. It's probably like reindeer farmers, a thing like they do. But like, I still was like a little sad, you know, like, why can't we ride? See, this doesn't say... We are garnering interest from the capital. You're not pleased? I am not convinced we are prepared for the full scrutiny of Val Royale. Oh, I agree. See, I also want her to deal with that. Because I don't want the assassins to deal with that. might be a shorter stream just because I am lit and I am dealing with cramps. I'll try. Wait, who did? Who just talked to me? That's weird. Unfortunately, the next stream is probably going to be a week away. Because I'm seeing two shows this weekend. It's life. I am waiting for my teaching contract. And I talked to my one of my bosses today. And they said they're waiting to get lingo all approved for my teaching. For everyone's teaching contract. But then I'll be able to like have my legit stream schedule for a while. So... I'm sorry my stream schedule is all up in the air recently because this game is amazing and I feel bad because I'd like to be consistent with it all, but. Why didn't it open? Boop. Oh, I did it. Okay, I guess that did the quest. Odd. It's fine.
Okay. I don't know. And mine are worse than typical period pain because I have endometriosis. But like, hold on, let me do a quick Google search. There are women going around to like rodeos and doing like, there's some, there's these machines that simulate like period pain and birthing pain. I'm going to look it up. And it's like the dude's response. It's not to be like, yeah, suck it, man. Like, yeah, see what we, but I think it's good for women to like, Hey, I think like women should be more understanding of like PBS and boys like sometimes and men sometimes they just get boners for no reasons it happens and be more sympathetic especially like young teachers like that to be like maybe have a code word for dudes be like I'm not gonna have you stand up in front of the class because it just happens it's biology it's literally biology y'all it's it's a f but like we just should understand each other Just putting that out there. Okay, I found the BuzzFeed article, but I'm lazy. Yeah, the electromuscle simulation. And I've heard, like, some women say the TENS machines works. I don't know. Probably wouldn't do much for me. Because, like, the thing with mine is... When I'm having my period, it's not just like... It's not just the uterus contracting. It's excess tissue on the organs deciding to grow. It's because uterine lining is only supposed to grow in the uterus. And it sheds and that's how you have your period. With endometriosis, something is wrong with your body in that the uterine lining that and all that muscle and stuff and organ tissue and blah 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 grow on the outside of your muscles and not mu outside of your organs. So like I had lesions and abscesses and growths on my ovaries and that's not supposed to be where that happens. And then that stuff sheds, kind of, sometimes, and it has nowhere to go, so it just sits there in your abdomen. But also, like, those organs aren't designed to have something be shedding on the outside. So. I'm gonna be calling it a stream, y'all. I love y'all. But it's really starting to kick up. Yeah, I'm calling a stream. I love y'all, but I can't do this. It's really starting to kick up. I'm sorry. What? Colin? I don't care, Colin. I'm sorry. Oh okay. Y'all rock. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sorry. It. Yeah.